Today is August 13, 2014. Got some really interesting stuff going on today. Eviction controversy flares up, reports to MontrealGazette.com. It's so toxic for everybody. Juanique Horn Miller says of conviction notices in Kashinawaki. This is a lady who is uh, kicked off the reserve um, and was banned from a lot of, uh, of their tribal rights because she was married to a uh, non-native. But this is what, um, according to the article, Here's what it reads. According to an executive summary of the Kashinawaki membership law, any Mohawk of Kashinawaki, male or female, who married, cohabitated, or lived in a common law relationship with a non-Indian was deprived of benefits and privileges that derive from the Kashinawaki uh, Mohawk territory. Since 2010, the Mohawk Council has sent out eviction letters to 30 non-natives residing in the community. And we also have another article here uh, somewhere a uh, list of 200, uh, according to Two Rose Times, the uh, list targets nearly 200 non-native Kashinawaki residents for removal from the territory. A lot of people are pissed about this. M the majority of the people that are mad that I'm, I'm seeing and I can understand are native females who are cohabitating, married to... Um, let us know how you feel about this. Personally, I feel it's awesome. I actually like the fact that there is a uh, tribe that is willing to go out there and put into the laws that <clears throat> you should keep it native. You should stick with your people. Doesn't mean you have to hate non-natives. Doesn't mean you can't work with them in, 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 uh, you know, in commerce and whatever. It just means that as an indigenous people who in, in this country who have almost been wiped out entirely, that we're doing our best to keep the indigenous blood as as uh, close to indigenous as possible. Now, those of you who know me know that I'm biracial. I'm half uh, Spanish and half Navajo. So I'm coming from a perspective of a person who knows what it's like to feel racism at every turn. Hell, I'm from Shiprock, New Mexico. And one time I took my mom, I went to go visit her. And I was like, hey, let's go back to the res, put some money back into the res. Um, she wanted to eat some mutton stew and some fry bread, so I said, cool, let's go down there. Let's go put some money back into the local community. We went down there. This lady who was running the stand wouldn't sell me fry bread because she said that I, she goes, you're not even native. And, and we got in a big old argument. I'm holding out money here. Ignorance keeps people locked up. But when we destroy our own blood and lineage, then that destroys a whole lot more. But, um, you know... It is what it is. I agree with that law. I think the Navajo Nation should, and other all the all the, all the other tribes should enact in in laws like that, because we should be rewarding our indigenous people for keeping it native, not just saying you know just the phrase of keep it native or native power, but actually teaching that we should keep it native. The next step after that is eject the BIA. The you know we need to end the illegal occupation of the Bureau of Indian Affairs. But we have a lot of stuff to cover here today. Navajo Times Online Edition is uh, wanting to know in the uh, upcoming Navajo Nation presidential electorate primary, which is August 26, who would you vote for? And here are some of the results. You can go on to uh, NavajoTimes.com and find all of this stuff yourself. But it looks like Joe Shirley Jr. is in the lead. Now, I don't... And here's where some of you guys are going to say you're a hypocrite. But I don't vote for in, in the Navajo uh, government because it's a bunch of malarkey. It's a bunch of energy corporation meat puppets who are doing what the energy corporations want. Joe Shirley Jr., he wants to bring in more uh, power plants. He wants to, you know, there. I can go down the list and talk about the, the uh, idiotic things that he wants to bring to the Navajo Nation. What these tribal presidents need to be doing... Instead of focusing on retarded things, get rid of the Bureau of Indian Affairs. It's the 21st century, and we still have the Bureau of Indian Affairs looming over us, telling us what we can and can't do. John Boyden created these tribal governments so that the energy corporations can come in and continually rape our people. The Navajo Nation still has people living without electricity, without running water, and these energy corporations come in with their, with their presidential people, it's a whole lot of malarkey, a whole lot of bullshit. A lot of these candidates don't even live up to anything that they talk about. You see them at the chapter houses and you hear them running their mouths talking about tradition and culture. But when it comes right down to it, 
it's a culture of taking advantage of people and not doing what you say you're going to do for the people, which is empowering them, raising the economy, creating more jobs, more native millionaires. But beyond all that BS, here's a cute little video that I wanted to show you guys. Look at that. Ah, uh, the puppy and the kitty. There was no reason for that. I just wanted to throw that in there. I thought it looked kind of cool. <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, born and raised on the reservation, and I love good music. And uh, we have a record label on our uh, company, uh, as part of our company. And here is some of the music. I was raised up on the reservation, never giving the bar. Uh, uh, come on, uh, uh, come on. I was up on the reservation, never we distribute music for people and uh, we always try to offer the best um, entertainment that we can in whatever capacity, whether it's online outlets like this or uh, in print with the magazine, which we're fa phasing out. We got five more issues of the magazine. The next one's dropping uh, August 15th, Danger in the cover. It's going to be a free digital download, it's interactive, a bunch of videos, a bunch of the shows that you're going to see here are going to be in the magazine. A little bit of writing. Uh, we're going to make them smaller, um, more packed with more video content, interactive content. Um, if you would like to become a sponsor on this show, I know we don't always meet your expectations and sometimes we kind of flounder around. And sometimes it might just outright piss you off because we say controversial stuff. but. The thing is that a show like this, an indigenous pop culture show like this, has never existed before. We're going to continue to expand and keep doing what we're doing. But we need you to dig into your pockets and just toss us money. Throw us gold. No, I'm just playing. But anyway, um, thank you very much for joining today. Remember that if you're a sexy male or female and you want to join this year's Sexiest People Contest, it's a video contest, so you have to make video content. That means sexy video content. This year, we're really going to push people to get into making more videos. It's time to step up games. It's the 21st century. I'm Tito. You're watching the Native Entertainment Show. Until next time.